Hey, this is John from the Collecting Brothers, and today we're looking at the Golden Archive, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Olga. Let's go see what she's all about. Well, let's go ahead and crack this open. Let's see what we got. We got the, the windowless packaging. Ooh, these are a little cleaner. Make sure you get everything out. <laughs> Alright, a little more simple. We got accessory back here. Let's take a look at that. This, uh... This paper's a little different than like Marvel Legends or the other Hasbro stuff. Here we're getting a nice little staff. Okay. Let's see what's got in here. Something else in there. Ooh, there we have a battle axe. Got pike on the end, hammer on this end. Okay, and then it also comes with this little attachment here. So you can uh, peg it in. Again, not a lot of color or paint on this, but eh, it is what it is. Cool that she comes with a storage option. Alright, make sure everything's in there. Yep. Let's just push this straight up. Alright, let's get hold out. And there she is. Here is our Holga from Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. All right, and just some, some good detailing here. We're getting from these cords, braids here. Overall, I think they did a really great job on the details, paint apps, and I'm noticing a lot of places where you think they wouldn't do those paint apps, they went ahead and went for it. Even on the back, we're getting that stitching. But yeah, you'd hit this with a wash and get all that um, braiding out. In regards to the likeness, maybe from some angles we can kind of see the Michelle Rodriguez face. I mean, not bad for a new line. Got the beautiful photo realize of that highlight that we're getting there. I think from here we can kind of see the Michelle Rodriguez face. <laughs> the hair, yeah, just all black. I mean, you can see the braids that are there. All right, let's go off of this. We're getting a really nice tattoo here. Really cool to see that on a Hasbro line. Of course, G.I. Joes have those as well. Oh, look at that. That's cool, man. The detailing on this figure is pretty nice. And she also comes with an extra blade. Sick. Let's go over articulation from top to bottom. She's got a uh, hinge, I believe, the head. Not a lot of movement because of the hair. Actually, I think it might, no, it's a ball. Yeah, it's gonna be a ball joint in there. So you get some tilt, rotation, but a, not a lot of uh, head movement because of that hair. Arms come about this far up. Single jointed elbows. Interesting that we're going that route. She is a bigger person. I'm surprised we didn't get that. Yeah, not too bad on the shoulder there. Single arms, a little disappointing. Single elbows, I mean, but that's all right. Rotation at the wrist, and I believe up and down. Oh yeah, side up and down. The other arm is also up and down, nice. So holding those weapons nice and cool. This uh, skirt piece is kind of nice. Just kind of getting in the way right now. I mean, in regards to, she's got a torso, not a lot of front or back, but some rotation. Four legs, she comes about. She's running into this. This is pretty hard plastic. It's not really bendy, so she is running right into there. But thigh swivel and double jointed knees. So not too bad. And then with her outfit here, not much articulation in the feet. Not a lot of up, not a lot of down, but a little bit of rotation side to side. There you go. There's our Dungeons and Dragons Golden Archive Holga. Yeah, this skirt piece is kind of getting in the way from me. She does have a peg hole. And put this, peg this in. So it looks like she's got that ready to go. And give her her walking stick. I don't know if it's her walking stick. It looks like a walking stick. Maybe it's her talking at kid stick. All right, but that'll go ahead and do it for articulation. Let's jump over to some comparisons. So she is very hard to pose standing. That has to do with ankle articulation with her gaiters there, her bindings. Um, it doesn't allow for any type of adjustments on the ankle, forwards, backwards, side to side, to tilt, anything like that. It's very, very limited. Um, so we opted here for the uh, low pose. Even just like standing straight up, very hard. Um, 
to get her to stand up. Maybe I'm just not good at it. I don't know. I wasn't able to just do a freestanding pose. It is what it is. You know, some figures are like that. And her shoes do seem a little small for how big of a figure she is. I don't know if that's like throwing off the balance, but, but I think it's mainly the uh, articulation in the ankle. It's very, very limited. All right, let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. <laughs> Dr. Ellen Grant, Vulcan body. So it looks like she's a little shorter. Um, She's got some girth to her, you know, she's got some girth to her. Moira McTaggart. And they're standing about the same size here. All right. And then last, we have a Death Watch Mando, just from our Black Series. Let's get her leg for the back. Of course, she falls down. All right. So not that big. You're at those issues with her standing up, but that's all right. Those can be worked around your little stand. But thanks for watching. This has been John. Peace. Thank you.